Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and I love all things colourful makeup and indie and today is my third tea flutter. It is the lip draw which I say lip draw, lipsticks because I don't really get rid of any pencils. Um I don't think I show you any pencils. Anyway, um it's my lip declutter which I was really not looking forward to. I think this one and my eyeshadow palettes are the ones that I was least looking forward to filming. <laughs> but we got there. So with that all said, let's get into it. When I tell you guys I really don't want to do this, <laughs> this is why. Um I'm not even sure where to start. Because so I've got this here for the ones that I am keeping. Uh, first things first, we know we, I'm keeping the Kaleidos ones. Um, there are some loose Kaleidos ones in this pile, but these are definitely staying. These are my absolute favourite. And they've just sneak peeked more, so. That's going to be an expense for me in the very near future. Um, next up I have two Lion King lip glosses from Revolution. I don't wear lip glosses, they've never even been opened. So I'm going to see if my friend wants them instead. Um, I mean... Next up we've got the NYX Powder Puff Lippy and Squad Gauze. This is very old, that can go. Um, I, there are no words for this pile. Um, these Beauté ones can stay. These are very new to my collection. Why am I swatching? I don't know. Um, and yeah, I've got the bullet. Um, I really like the way that this component is shaped. It sounds ridiculous, but it's literally shaped to fit around your lips and it's really nice. I've actually tried these on properly, but they're both staying because they're both very nice. Maybe I should swatch some of my Kaleidos and make notes if I've got any dupes. Also, I don't know if I can be bothered because there's a lot of colours on so, Like, these are all obviously staying this. Two of these need to go back into the actual cases. For example, my black. And there's another one somewhere that I wore to another one recently that I need to find. Is this it? No. Um. This was the first black lipstick that I ever bought from Wet n Wild in the shade Blackout. Um, this actually started my love for black lipsticks. I bought it for a Slytherin look, fun fact. Uh, but it can go because it smells like Play-Doh and I have better blacks. Uh, next up we have Alien Cosmetics, also now known as Unearthly in Jeanette. Got this fun little thing on the top. It's just a really fun mustardy colour that gets to stay. Um, Revolution and Cox Bride Victoria. I don't think I've ever actually used this. Um, it's quite a nice red. I'm going the maybe pile. Um, Another Alien Cosmetics, this time in Pumpkin. This is an orange that I keep debating getting rid of. It's... I can't work out if I like it. Kerry says she loves it on me, but maybe it's for my personal preference, I don't know. But I'll keep it for now with a maybe on it. Um, and I have... what are you? Plum Sensation by collection. I don't even remember buying you. That's again quite a nice colour. Um, and then I have Smashbox 
in misconduct. These, if I remember correctly, how they still smell fine. These went really crumbly on me, if I remember correctly. Can go for them now. Um, melt isn't going anywhere. This is Sin City. Why have I started swatching? I don't know. Paris Fling. Uh, this is a newer one that is very, very pale that I'm unsure on. I need to try it again. I'm going to maybe pile. Uh, then we have Dark Room. From here, that's a really nice colour. Uh, well, I've had to, I started out by saying melt's not going anywhere, and then ones in the maybe pile. Uh, this is Melt 710, again, another really nice mustard, but a very different tone of mustard to the unearthly one. That's more green, that's more browny yellow. These smell amazing. Uh, da -da -da. Superstay Matte Ink in Globetrotter. These are a absolute pain to get off. Mm. Can go in a maybe pile. Um, I don't really know where to go. Um, Odin's Eye in Perfect Plum. These are discontinued and I've never really worn it. Very nice colour. Can you maybe put uh, another Ace Beauté in good vibe. The other Ace Beauté, by the way, she said, is in Applause and the bullet is in Gratitude. And I've actually said, yeah, this one is in Good Vibes. It's just a really nice nudie brown. I've recently been really getting into my browns, if you cannot tell by the these swatches. Um, Maybelline in Huntress. This is like a weird greasy, well not even greasy, it's just grey. Uh, that can stay because I don't have anything like it. This one, Ginger. Such a bright coral. Like I don't know what I was expecting when I bought it but it looks absolutely ridiculous on me. Um, that can go. Um, originator in Maybelline. That's a really nice deep purple. Is that similar to the Kaleidos purple though? Um, wrong one. Um, Kaleidos in Queen of the Night. Pop that on there. Mm, I think they're different enough to both stay for now. I do have a lime cut in purple somewhere also. I think it's this one. Scandal. Why I have so many purple lipsticks, I don't know. Oh, that's very different. Okay. Um, Wet and Wild in There It All. I actually remember really liking this one. Yeah, that can stay. Um, Huda Beauty in Vixen. This is such a nice colour and it smells amazing. Smashbox in Witchy. When did I buy this? I have no memory of this. Uh, it's nice, but it feels a bit shotten. We'll go in the maybe pile. Um, Steeler in not. Also very nice colour. We can stay. Why am I surprised that these are nice? Um, Kaleidos in Adobe can stay. 
I'm very concerned about where that little eyes is. I, I'm hoping it's still in my coat pocket. I don't know. Uh, what are you? Lip player by... Oh, that's a brand lip player in... Oh, lip gloss? I have no idea what this is. And this might have been in my quest for the perfect dark red. It smells like apples. I don't know if I like that. Can go. Um, romantic in the Maybelline. A very, very bright blue pink. I very, very rarely wear it, but I don't have anything like it so far. That's a change. Uh, Ted Baker. Doesn't have a shade on it. It is a lip gloss, so that can go. Don't use lip gloss. And then I've got. Uh, bigger lipstick in lipstick. Very helpful. Oh, that's bright red. That's quite nice. That can stay. And I've got a lip crayon. Again, quite a nice tone. I would preface by saying I didn't buy the Ted Baker stuff. They were gifts. Um, but gosh, in burgundy. Uh, I have similar. I prefer. <sighs> OPV metallic liquid lipstick cream in. Hot flash, I think. I got this free with purchase. She's very metallic. Wood clothes. Um it doesn't say if it's I safe either, so that one can go because that's probably the only reason why I'll keep it. Uh Revolution in Teddy. That looks funky. Looks like it's bloomed. That can go in the bin. Um, Wet n Wild liquid catsuit in behind the bleachers. Mm. I've never reached for it. Can survive it now. Let's see if I have anything similar. Um, MUA in Bonafide. I can't work out if this has gone funny. But I also have some more down here. Oh, I'm not drawing all it. That can go. Uh, Beauty Bay in Pinch. I actually didn't like this one. Um, that can stay, and then I have scrunchie, which is a slightly darker pink, but more fuchsia, so that can stay mostly actually. Wait, it. Is it similar to cactus flower? I wonder. Similar, but I like to have an affordable option. So we'll keep that for now. Barry M. Uh, in Bittersweet. I'm running out of room near my nudes. Um, it's a nice brownie nude. Um, Smashbox again, that can go because, like I said, they are very crumbly. Natasha Denona, the one and only Natasha Denona lipstick that I own, and she has been very well <laughs> loved as you can see. I have it in 
Claudia. Claudia, how do you want to say it? It's just such a good nude colour. I want more of these, but they are again expensive. And again, Natasha stays in her box. Don't know why, but she does. Okay. Um, let's just um, essence. Um, in, to be fair, if remember from my video, I'm hating this. I don't know if it's just the fact that I hated that colour on me because I wasn't used to it. Am I going to reach for that? No. Um, next up we have piles of merging. Send help. I'm just going to some of these. Help keep them separate. Um, then we have Mandy from Unearthly Cosmetics. I don't think these are actually available anymore. Let's put it down here. Oh yeah, that's a really fun green. That can see. Melt in Triple X, which is such a dark, dark brown. It's almost black, and I love it. Um, Dodies by Melt. It's much more of a chocolatey brown. It stays. Um, Melted Matte in Drop Dead Red by Too Faced. Ugh, that does not, that's not one of the nice smelling ones, but it's a nice colour. Why didn't I like this one? I think I didn't like the formula, if I remember correctly. You can go. Um, L'Oreal Lip Paint in Dead Lips. Lovely. Was oh, she pale? Didn't smell bad. But also, I'm pretty sure I have a collider similar to that. Um, what are you? Aubergine Kiss by Collection. I'm pretty sure this was a gift from my wonderful friend. She can stay because I don't see. Oh, is that similar? I don't remember what that was. Send out. It can stay for now. I can't remember what it was similar to. Revolution Pro in Cashmere. Mm. I really should have grouped these by colour, shouldn't I? It's very similar to this one. I also don't think that was meant to happen, was it? <laughs> Can cool. Um, NYX in Copenhagen. Oh, um, it feels really dried out. I can go in the bin. And then we have MUA in Mystic. To that one, not really. Can stay for that. Uh, then we have Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Possessed Plum. I've not even opened it, and it's gone funky. Let's go in the bin because it's got a weird layer on top of it. Jeffrey in Weirdo. Don't support the brand. I'm keeping this because the money's already spent. He already has my money, so it can stay for now. And plus, it's a black lipstick. 
I don't hate. Um, anyway, in virtue, why have I got so many MUA lipsticks? I just looked searching for a really pale colour. So I thumb to that one. Um, Lime Crime in Sasha. Not reached for these in a while, as you can see. Mm, I think it might be on its way out. Oh, still feels good. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, Kaleidos in Apricot. No, not Kaleidos. Odin's Eye in Apricot Girl. I don't really know where to put these. This is the, this is the lip stain, I think. Yes, this is the stain. Uh, that's quite nice. It can stay for now. Um, Too Faced in Undercover Lover. Um, nope. I'm really not sure what to do about any of these Lime Crime ones because. Did that just drip? Something looked like it fell. Um, I think I'm going to have to ditch all of my Lime Crime ones, including that purple that I saw there. Wherever it went. That one. They can clean it. Which is annoying because I really loved... Um, where's it gone? Blood Moon and... Feelings and Wicked. I loved these for so long. I'm going to swatch them anyway. Okie doke. Um, no, it's a few days since I last filmed any of this, so things look a little different. Because uh, my battery died. And Kerry, I don't want to hear when I told you so that I need a second battery. Uh, so I was about to swatch my fa favourite Lime Crimes. Is this Feelings? This one still smells good actually. This might survive. I can go in the maybe part. Uh, Wicked, this was my favourite dark red. That one still smells good actually. Um, and then we have Blood Moon, which is even darker. And they might survive. A bit longer. Okay. Then we have the bourgeois red volution velvet wipers. Um well that feels a bit separated on my hand actually. So that can go in the bin. Uh then we have a fig delight from Collection. It took me so long. There's so much on that um, label. It's too satin for me. Um, Three minutes to work out where I was going. Then we have more bourgeois rude edition. Twelve ear in burgundy. Mm. Am I going to reach for that over other reds in my collection? No. Um, Revolution. Matte lipstick in Glorified. I don't even remember buying this. That's quite a nice pinky nude though. I'm going to maybe pile. Um, Odin's Eye next. Velvet lipstick in light peach. 
that's a nice colour. What can this day? Uh, more bourgeois. This is when I was first getting into makeup, I think. And bourgeois was still around actually, because I don't think they are anymore. And this is in Jolie de Bin. Um, I, I bought so many reds trying to find the perfect dark red. It's all because I hadn't discovered Kaleidos yet. Mm, yeah, that's separated. When I say the perfect red, let me find it. Not you. And speaking of Kaleidos, I've oh, released two more um, vaults. In between me filming and I want them both. This is in Rubino and it is beautiful. Although, which one's this one? Oh yeah, there's another one. Is it in here? Oh, is it? oh yes. If you like bright reds, Fiona is. Such a nice colour. I thought that said I wasn't going to switch any colour last year. But there we are. So yeah, I will be buying the two bolts. Because it's my favourite formula. And then I have Matt Me in Old Hollywood by Sleep Cosmetics. I don't think I've ever actually used this. That's quite nice. Am I going to reach for it over other things? Probably not. Uh, Mac in Beef Glam by Rihanna. Um, I'm never going to use a metallic lipstick. Uh, Rimmel in Naughty Nude. This looks very balmy. Yeah, no. Not for me. Uh, Smashbox in Yes Honey. Mm -mm. Mm, that's nice, but I have some more inner formula that I prefer. So that can go. Um, Smashbox in Role Model. That's quite a nice colour. Go in the maybe pile for now. Um, then we have Aboni Cosmetics in Frenchie. This is a really nice mustard. Bought this after I couldn't get hold of Melt Golden. Okay, um, about all Barry M in Impulsive, I love this one, this is such a good nude colour on me, you get to stay, um, Tea by Beauty Bay, so again a really nice colour, very similar to whatever the hell this one was. I'm going to maybe put it. Oh, Colour Pop and Oogie Boogie. That's a nice brownie nude. You can stay. It's a gift from a wonderful friend of mine. And then we've got the Jack Skellington. Colour pop, I don't think these are available anymore. Which is a beautiful red colour. Can stay. Uh, Mac in Relentlessly Red. Rude. Red. Um, I think Mac needs to learn <laughs> what red is because that is pink. <laughs> 
Sin by Mac. It can definitely stay. And Viva Glam 3. That's nice, but it's also using to that by right. That wasn't my phone. What the hell was that? Mm. Then maybe by because I can't think what the hell that was. Also, look how gross these bourgeois ones are. They're not even like there's nothing leading. Um. Then we have Maybelline in founder. These are a pain in the absolute ass to get off. But they're pretty. Uh, we have oh well I'm fine black. In black velvet. Yeah, that still smells good. You guys know I love about lipstick. As we can see. <laughs> Uh, Barry M Liquid Matte in Blacklisted. Never opened, but it can stay because we always need black lipsticks. And I will fight you on that anyway in Survivor. Not so similar to that one. Is that the Mac? Okay. Going the maybes. Uh, Viva Glam Rihanna Do. I'm not going to use my palette lipstick. And then we have Colourpop and Sally. Oh, she bright pink. I forgot how bright she was. Um, um, we'll keep her around for now. Uh, Maybelline Superstay in Originator. That looked gross. I don't know if that came up on camera. It's a nice purple. Is it similar to. What is it? Clean the night? I really should remember which one is which. But I don't. Maybe I should put my dark ones in this one. <laughs> mm, I think they're different enough to both need to stay for now. I still don't know where my Kaleidos Black is right now. I must have already gone through it the other day and I've completely brain farted about it. Uh, Rimmel in one of a kind. This is the the only one lipstick, whoever that is. Oh, that's not the balmy one. I can go. I just don't like my lips to feel sticky. Uh, Wet and Wild in Caught You Bare Naked. Oh, she pale. That is far too pale for me. I can go. Um, this one is Revolution and the Corpse Bride in Victor. Which is hard to get into. Very, very nice colour. Very similar to tea, I think. But that one's more satin, that one's matte. So they can both stay on out. Apparently, the lipstick disagrees. And then we have Revolution Pro in Thirst. And that's a nice colour. Okay, let me clean my hands and then we'll go back through these maybes. Okie doke, just some time. About these. As they roll all over the place. Okay, duck. Um 
Smashbox in witchy. Mm. No. And for this, I prefer in a similar shade. Paris Fling by Melt. I'm going to try that one on again. I'll put in the cap in the description box so I know I decide to keep that one. Revolution Glorified. No. Um, I think I'll save my lime crimes for now. Um, I think ginger. I think I need to try this on top of the pumpkin and see how they look together. I mean, they are the same brand, so maybe they can survive. And I've got tea. And what was the one that was similar? Uh, was it? It was not Victoria. Um, Decisions. Decisions are hard. Um, you can stay. You can stay for now. Um, Pete. You can stay. No. <laughs> I thought I've just opened that one like four times. I think I have other reds that I prefer. Um, am I going to keep this pink? Why is that all the pink? Groaning, it's Logan getting into his bed. <laughs> I don't know if my camera's picking that up. Uh, those are very similar. And normally I'd go for the liquid, however, these are an absolute arse to get off. So we'll get rid of you and we'll keep Sally plus she was a gift. Uh, smash balls. It's nice. It's just not. No. Okay. Um, Again, I have similar elsewhere. These two. No. Mm. It's too peachy for me. And these two, I'll let you know in the description box slash pin comment. If it's not there, then remind me. And let me go and get my totals. Okay, so we're keeping 54, 5, 6, 7, 
We are binning 12. Uh, getting rid of all these. And we are quartering 36. So, I mean, we've got, if my maths, rough maths is correct, we've got rid of about 40%, I think I'd about 100 <laughs> lipsticks, um, 60, 30 something, plus, yeah, around 40%. That's not bad, although, the amount of lipsticks I actually have is ridiculous. But yeah, back to Do Not Heather, hopefully. Also, quick note, I ended up getting rid of the melt, but keeping the unearthly, because I like it on top of the other unearthly orange. So, yeah. Just so I don't have to put it in the comments slash caption, description box, whatever you want to call it. So that is my declutter done and dusted. I think I got rid of about, I think I worked it out as 40%. Um, I filmed it the other day, I could be misremembering. Um, I think I did quite well with getting rid of quite a lot. Um, just to preface this, I am moving, so maybe I'm being harsher than I should be, but needs must. Um, with all that said, um, if you, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one which will be the eyeshadow declutter so you know what snack for that one <laughs>